Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to shiny hunt in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, using the underground system, which does have an opportunity to give you a higher shiny chance. We're gonna have a lot of fun in this video, so be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you don't miss out on our epic shiny hunting gameplay. I'm doing a shiny playthrough, I'm doing a ton of shiny hunting on my 153 hour live stream marathon on twitch.tv so make sure you guys subscribe now before we jump to the underground there's a few things you want to do you're going to want to get a pokemon that has the ability runaway that's just super useful i'm using this pachirisu that i caught it was super easy to grab you can grab it over at the valley windworks and just make sure you have the runaway ability i'm going to also give you some other tips regarding synchronize and things like that in this video so you can always customize your team to fit that I highly recommend having potions and a, a kind of a, a good amount of pokeballs as well because you don't want to go into the underground prepared the catch rates down there can be a little bit tricky once you get to Eterna City which is this city right here you're gonna head into this house and you're gonna be ultimately given the Explorer kit which is gonna give you access to the underground once you surface back up from the first time talk to this guy a few times if you had done anything in the walls and he'll give you the digger drill which will allow you to create your first hidden base from there, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and connect online. I have mine hotkeyed, but you're going to open up the Explorer kit. You're going to want to enter the underground, and I recommend utilizing the internet to go to the underground. The reason why you want to use the internet is because the shiny boost that you get is actually a minute longer when you're using it online than offline, and it's a much faster approach when you are using it online. So we're going to go and use a link code, and I have created a user universal link code for everybody that you guys can use. This will pair you with A Drive Army members who are planning to do the same thing that you're trying to do, which is farm the Diglett quest. So you're going to type in 153 and then a bunch of zeros. You're going to connect to the internet. You have to save your adventure, and you're going to head to the underground, and this is how you're going to begin your shiny hunting process. You're going to see my character is going to drop to the underground, and hopefully other people will also connect to the underground. From here, you're going to work your way around, and I'm actually going to go walk my way to my base because I want to be able to show you guys kind of what I've been planning, but we're going to head all the way over this way. We're going to walk my way to my base, and as you see the Diglets, make sure you pick them up. Now, I'm going to give you a little hint with the Diglets here in just a minute. There's a Doug Trio that counts as three, which is very, very clutch. Uh, friendly reminder, if you use your Digger Drill, it's a one-time use item, but uh, you can always buy more if you're able to... Uh, trade the different spheres for them so it's not like you won't be able to ever get more again one thing you might notice is because i'm playing online with other people the diglet count is actually going to increase on its own <clears throat> so one thing you'll notice is the underground is going to change every single day but i've gotten to my secret base and i am now in my secret base so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to exit and enter my secret base now you can do this with a, a dungeon for where the pokemon are and i'm going to continuously do this to reset those diglets because the Diglets have a higher chance to respawn if you kind of re-enter and exit. So the ideal scenario is you have a bunch of people doing what I'm doing right now, and you have your secret base set up in a strategic spot where Diglets do often spawn, and that way you can continuously get the Diglets. And if you have, you know, five people doing this all at once, you can get that 40 meter filled up for the Diglet quest incredibly fast. Now, before I finish this Diglet quest, I do just want to mention this, because I feel like this is something that's been very confusing to a lot of people. This statue right here that I have... This Croagunk statue. A lot of people are calling it a shiny statue. This is a color statue, and I want to make this really clear. This has no bearing on shiny chance at all. These statues make no difference on shiny chance. The only way to boost your shiny chance in the underground is through the Diglett method, which I am doing right now. The, the statues will increase the spawn rate of that particular type of Pokemon. So like poison types and, and, and things like that. If you're using like a, a Piplup statue, it would give you more water types but it has no bearing on the shiny chance. The fact that it has that little similar shiny emblem means nothing. So I just want to make sure that's really clear because a lot of people have been confused about that. <coughs> now, I just hit my 40 and that is 40 Diglets and you'll see that it says something good may happen. So now at this moment in time, we have twice the chance to find a shiny Pokemon in the underground. So I'm going to enter a room and you have a five minute timer if you're online, four minutes if you're offline. I'm going to enter a room and now my shiny chance is boosted. Notice that I saved as soon as I entered the room. This is a very important piece of this. If you enter a room, the Pokemon in that room, as soon as you enter it, are all determined as soon as you enter the room. So whether something is shiny or not is determined the second you enter the room. You cannot soft reset a Pokemon inside of a room, but what you can do is if you were to fail a shiny, let's say I encounter this Geodude, it's shiny right now, and it self-destructs on me, 
because I saved, I can turn my game back off, turn it back on, and ultimately encounter the same Geodude and have it still be shiny. That also works for synchronizing. As soon as you enter the room, your synchronizer, which is a Pokemon with the ability to synchronize, will pass the synchronize to every single Pokemon in the room. As long as it was in the front of your party when you entered the room. You can then remove it from the front of your party and it'll still work. And you can test this yourself by catching something and then uh, resetting and then catching it again and seeing if it continues to be shiny uh, as you continue or it continues to be the same nature and things of that nature. So that's really the gist here, right? It's important. My recommendation is save when you enter the room just in case you fail a shiny. I wouldn't want to see anyone fail one because some of these Pokemon can be incredibly hard to capture. But you're just going to run into them and you're going to check them to see if they're going to be shiny. I'm checking into a bunch of them. You've got only a five minute period, so it might not be a bad idea to keep like some sort of a stopwatch for yourself or just keep a mental note in your head. And remember, the Pokemon are determined as soon as you enter the room, not when you run into them, right? So what I'm going to do is to ensure that I get a whole other batch of Pokemon to check, I'm going to leave the room and then I'm going to re-enter it while I still have the Diglett boost, the Diglett bonus that I'm receiving right now, which again is giving me two times the shiny chance. So now everything in this room is already determined. If there's a shiny in here, I'm going to find out by running into it. They do not show shiny in the overworld. You have to encounter the Pokemon to determine if it's going to be shiny. So you have to run into every single Pokemon. And again, it gives you about a 1 in 2,000 chance to be shiny there was a lot of debate about what the shiny odds were but it seems as though the light stone effect which is what this effect is called the diglet effect basically the 40 diglet boost is going to give you two times the chance or two rolls to get a shiny which is essentially double the chance of a shiny so this may not ultimately be the best shiny hunting method in terms of odds but it is a shiny hunting method in the game and i do think that there's an opportunity to find some really cool shinies a handful of you guys tweeted me some of your shinies that you found in the underground there's a lot of really rare pokemon in the underground and i'm going to continue to be testing this method and seeing if i can have any luck with it but again you're looking at about a one in two thousand chance when you're doing this to ultimately get a shiny if you surface at any point in time you're going to lose your your diglet bonus and things of that nature the only reason why you would save in the cave to reset is in case you fail the shiny that way you don't fail it again i may actually be able to get a third round here i'm going to try to leave the cave and you'll hear the whistle blow if you run out of time and it looks like i'm able to get in again so i was able to get another round in so i actually have another round of checks here so i can save the game and then i can start doing another round of checks to see if i'm going to get lucky and ultimately lock down that underground shiny and if you hear the whistle that means your time is up but again the room is determined when you enter the room thus i can continue to check the rest of the spawns that are here and now the diglet bonus is reset to zero you can then go back to your secret base or just move in and out of a room whatever works best for you to try to re-get those diglets with everybody else it's important if you're using the code the 1530 code i recommend if you're doing that to farm the diglets with everybody this method works so much better when everyone is tackling the diglets together um, if everyone's going for diglets you can actually get this pretty quickly and you can give yourself that boost relatively frequently like it's really not too bad there's actually a magby there i'm gonna check the rest of this room and then we'll wrap things up here but uh yeah you definitely want to be working with a team of people we're doing it on our live stream so everybody's been super snappy i'm not on the stream right now obviously so um it's been you know it was a little slower this time but you can actually get that diglet boost really quickly if everybody is working together so once you finish checking that room and your boost runs out you can then go to your hidden base or wherever it may be and continuously reset to ultimately try to get that diglet boost again and increase your shiny chance if you guys have any luck with the diglet method feel free to let me know in the comments section below it's a really straightforward thing it's just about gathering the diglets you give yourself a short period of time to get that shiny boost again the room is determined as soon as you enter it just be prepared when you get down to the underground with pokemon like runaway or a lot of pokeballs or something strong that won't falter against some of the powerful pokemon down in the underground and you should be good to go let me know if you guys have any luck like i said like the video if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new that's gonna be for me guys my name is dan i also go by a drive and i will see you guys on the next video peace